Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Edgar Lund is a coward. We know the people that can take over presidency and they will not, no one will take it away from them. Somebody like Member. If member have to win the election today, the first day you'll be sworn in without judgment, a church is going to prison. There are so many of them, he will throw them into prison. He will not on that. He will be like Kagami. And he will be like uh, uh, this one for the president of uh, 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 Uganda. I'm telling you. That's why, you see, when I look at some of you in UPN that are eating today with your tummy now is as big as, as a frog that swallowed snake. You don't know, you are laughing everywhere like, a, like idiots. You don't know what is ahead of you. I'm telling you. You don't know. Usually, when you get power, a fool gets power and don't think about 20 years to come. If you don't cement your authority and make sure that by the time HH is finishing his tenure, he's handing over back power to an MMD person, uh, to, to, to a UPND person. If you don't have that agenda, know that all of you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. You will even regret Say, why did we even form government? We should have been with our family and enjoy our freedom than to spend the rest of our life in prison. I know what is ahead coming. That is why we need to protect HH. We need to protect him like, like never before. And when Edgar Galungu took over power, seven good years was like seven days. Where is he today? God is even merciful that he found a president like HH. Imagine if he found a, a president like Membe. By now, Edgar Galungu was going to be himself. In jail, together with his family. And nobody would do anything. Nobody would talk anything. It's happening in Uganda. It's happening in Rwanda. What will stop it from happening in Zimbabwe, dear? What will stop it from happening in, in, in Zambia? These guys have a great agenda that you guys that are in power now must be very, very careful with what you are doing. I'm telling you, if not, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. And you will regret why you form government. You will regret why you, why you, why you join politics. That is why we must solidify our fence. Solidify our security around HH. So that he will not be captured. So that he will not be captured. If they capture him, you will regret. Even those of you that are in state house, that are giving access to Dixon Jerry. You don't know who Dixon Jerry is. That idiot is, that idiot is, 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 is shameless. How do you, you failed in MMD? They removed you because of your massive corruption with Ropia Banda, Dora Silia, and so many of you. Few years later, you jump into the same party that removed you. They rejected you. They did not adopt you. You now jump into state house. Eh? And uh, to make the matter worse, you people in in uh, you people in uh, in the UPN that are allowing these guys close to HH. You bring them close to HH, but you cannot manage to bring your own people close to HH. Your own people are busy struggling. They are suffering in the streets. You are telling them to go and get CDF when you know that majority of them are not educated. 
how do you tell a cadre that does not know anything to, to write proposal and write something for about CDF? Do you understand politics? Eh? Do you understand politics? Politics is all about you fight, you eat. You fight, you eat. The people that fought with you, you are not bringing them close to the president. The people that you are bringing close to the president are criminals that campaigned against you. Dick Sinjere. If Dick Sinjere loves UPND, why didn't he stand and get adopted in UPND ticket during the election? If he was good, what stopped him from a, a, a applying on UPND and get adopted? Now that the president has won, you come and tell me that he was there to bring information. What useless information were you bringing? Because PF rigged the election already using the during the time of national registration. So what are you talking about? You must be very careful. Don't provoke things that when it starts, you will not finish it. I'm telling you, don't provoke it. If you are eating, you must eat quietly and eat responsibly. And remember the people that labored with you. Don't abandon them. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Don't abandon them. CDF is for everybody. All the youths. All the men and women in Zambia. But remember the soldiers that we are fighting, busy running up and down with HH campaigning. When I speak, you say it's one Zambia, one nation. That is very good. If uh, Dixon Jerry is a Zambian and he has eaten enough during the time of Europea Banda. I believe you must also give way for other Zambians to eat. Because it's not the only Zambian. When one Zambian eats, another Zambian eats, another Zambian eats, that is the definition of one Zambia, one nation. The same people cannot continue eating in the name of one Zambia, one nation, when others are not eating. We are others born in Afghanistan, thrown to Zambia. He must leave state house. Immediately. And allow the people that labored for this party to enjoy also. You cannot eat with criminals and come back to eat with UPN. That cannot happen. I am willing to turn around and start fighting UPN. I swear. I am willing to relocate. To leave Nigeria. To go to another country. And sit down and make sure that I fight for the people that fought for the party. I swear upon Godfather. I love HH from the bottom of my heart. But I don't want criminals near him. I do not want criminals near him. I do not want criminals near him. Because if they kidnap him, all of us are going to regret how many of you are regretting today because criminals kidnapped Eddie Galungu? The day Eddie Galungu was attending Satas Beria, everybody cried. Everybody cried. When he started crying, all of us cried. All of us shed tears because we love him. The time he became a monster, all of us became affected. I was part of that thing. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.